Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome to you as well. My name is Jennifer and this is my channel. So this is going to be the first in a series on my channel and it's going to be called Can You Keto It? This was a suggestion from one of my viewers. I can't even take credit for the title, but I thought when she suggested the title of it, it was so cute and I absolutely adore it. So I decided that I am going to try to keto it. And this is going to be finding my favorite foods and trying to turn them keto friendly. I don't know how many of these I will do or how successful I'll be at them because we all know some of the recipes I make tend to not turn out very well. But in this very first episode of Can You Keto It? We're going to see if I can keto pumpkin bread. Now, I did a recipe um, probably about a week ago for pumpkin muffins, cream cheese muffins. And they were good. They really didn't turn out the way I wanted them to. But this is going to be different because this is going to be a 90 second keto bread that you don't have to put in the oven. All you need is your microwave and hopefully it's going to turn out amazing. So I was downstairs earlier and I smelled somebody baking pumpkin bread and it smelled so good. Pumpkin bread has always been one of my favorites in the fall. And then I started feeling sorry for myself because I can't eat pumpkin bread, the normal pumpkin bread that everybody else eats. Um, so instead of feeling sorry for myself, I remembered, can you keto it? And I thought, I can probably keto that. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. So stick around and I am going to keto pumpkin bread with cream cheese icing. Let's get started. This recipe is going to be for a 90 second keto pumpkin bread. So for our recipe, we're going to need eggs, butter, cream cheese, almond flour, coconut flour, heavy whipping cream, a granulated sugar replacement, I'm using stevia, and a powdered sugar replacement, and I'm using Swerve confection sugar. You're also going to need baking powder, as well as the star of our recipe, pumpkin. You want to make sure you have the 100% natural and not the pumpkin pie filling because that will have a lot of sugar and carbs in it. So we're just going to be using the pure pumpkin in a can. All right, let's get started and make our 90 second bread. Oh, did I mention it's going to have cream cheese icing? Yes, it is. <laughs> let's get started. Our first ingredient is going to be two tablespoons of melted butter. And you're gonna to want to mix this up in the container that you're going to put it in the microwave for. So you can either use a mug or a bowl. I'm choosing to use this bowl. And I already have my butter melted in the bowl. To that, I'm going to add two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. This is one half tablespoon, so I'm gonna use four of these. Next, I'm going to add my egg. And I'm just going to whisk this up until the egg is well blended into the butter and having whipping cream. Next, I'm going to add two heaping tablespoons of the pumpkin puree. Next, I'm gonna give it a couple shakes of my pumpkin pie spice. You can use as little or as much of the pumpkin pie spice as you like, it's totally up to taste. And I'm going to blend that together as well. Next, I'm 
Next I'm going to add one and a half tablespoons of coconut flour. One and a half tablespoons of almond flour. One and a half tablespoons of your sugar substitute. I'm using the stevia blend. And lastly, we're going to add about a half of a teaspoon of baking powder. And we're just going to blend this all together. You want to make sure you scrape the sides so you get it all incorporated. I'm going to use my little scraper to scrape the sides down. Make sure we have it all blended in. Alright, now that we have everything all mixed together, we're going to put this in the microwave for 90 seconds. Okay, after 90 seconds, this is what we're left with our pumpkin bread. So I'm going to loosen around the edges and then turn it out on my plate. This is still really hot so I have to be careful not to burn myself. <laughs> it's very moist. So actually here's what we're going to do. I learned this fancy trick from the Food Network. You take your plate that you're going to turn your hot item out on cover it, then flip it. And then still have trouble getting it out. <laughs> and there we go. So as you can see, there's still just a tiny little piece of moist batter that was on the bottom, but it was just on the top. It doesn't go clear down. So you could either put it in for another few seconds or just do it that way because it, it really didn't affect it that much. So we're going to set this aside and let it cool while we work on our icing. Let's work on our cream cheese icing for our pumpkin bread. So what I have here is some cream cheese. I can't give you specific amounts because it depends on how much cream cheese icing you're going to make. And I just eyeball it until it looks good and until it tastes good. So I'm just going to show you how I'm doing this. This is about two to three tablespoons of cream cheese and to that I'm going to add just a splash of vanilla and I'm going to take my powdered sugar substitute and I'm using Swerve and I'm going to add two tablespoons of that to the cream cheese heaping tablespoons Alright, so what we're going to do is just mix this until it comes together to form a frosting and then if I need to add more of the swerve then I will, but it looks, looks pretty good right now. You just kind of want to Mix it around until it's kind of smooth. It doesn't have to be completely smooth, but you don't want too many big lumps in it. And let's taste it, see what it tastes like. That's perfect. It has a good sweetness to it, but it's not overly sweet, and you can still definitely taste the cream cheese. All right, what we're gonna do is we're just going to drizzle this over our pumpkin bread. I made more cream cheese icing than I needed because I'm going to, when I'm done making this, I'm going to make some one of these for a friend to see if they like it. So I'm going to show you. So let's just drizzle this over the top. And you can definitely make this thinner if you want. 
so it will drizzle better. But I kind of like it like this. And there we have our 90 second keto pumpkin bread. I'll be right back and we're going to try it together. All right, I'm back and I have my 90 second keto pumpkin bread that turned out, by the looks of it, it turned out amazingly. So we're going to taste test it and see what it tastes like to see if I actually ketoed it. And if I did, that's going to be amazing. First in the series. All right, let's dig in. It's nice and moist. Let's do, I want you guys to see when I cut into it. Everything is backwards to me, so I don't know where I'm cutting at, but. Oh, there we go. Awkward. So you can see it's very moist. It's very cake-like, bready. It looks like the original pumpkin bread that I've always eaten with the cream cheese icing on the top. So let's take a bite and see what it tastes like. Mm. Oh my gosh. Can you see in there? I look really eerie peering over it. Um, let's get the fork out of the way. I hope you can see how moist it is inside. It's not dry, it's not burnt. It is definitely delicious. Taste to me just like pumpkin bread. Let's take one more bite to make sure. Delicious. I would definitely say we ketoed it. I hope you guys try this because this is amazing. It only takes 90 seconds in the microwave. If you're craving something sweet, a little treat at the end of the day, definitely not something you eat every single day. But during this time of the year, who doesn't want to have a treat? And you don't want to sabotage yourself. So staying on track and having this yummy keto dessert will help you stay on track and have a little bit of indulgence every once in a while. So if you guys decide to try this, definitely let me know what you think of it. And then we will be back next time for another Can You Keto It recipe. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Remember, be the love, be the light, and do good things. Bye everyone.